Okay. Hi, I just want to quickly show you some things I love about using um, well, non-Windows and non-Mac um, window managers. Uh, this is on Linux and I'm using Fluxbox. And for classes, I set this up so that I have, you can tab windows basically, okay? So I have these four different uh, programs, four different windows all in one window. And as you can see on the in the screen there, it's switching between them with a simple key. It's like the equivalent of the Windows key, called the Super key and uh, the arrow keys to move between them. So I can have, you know, some things open here in in Firefox, right? For class, I might have open, you know, the Google Classroom and some Google Documents, right? The next one I might have like Classroom screen that I'll use occasionally, but but not like all class and maybe some Quizlet when, when I jump into Quizlet to do something with the students there, right? The next one, this is a PDF viewer. For example, you know, I've got like a PDF, a, a game manual here, but also uh, maybe some grammar slides or something that I'm showing in class. And then finally over here, um, I, I often have a, a document. It's just a, this is just a text editor. Um, it's got some documents. I put links here that I might have to copy and paste into the chat you know, to give to students, or I might have, you know, re quickly reply to somebody with a link. So I have them all set up ahead of time here, and I can just switch to it when I need to. Okay, so this is very, very helpful. It's a great way, um, that way I don't have all the windows, you know, getting in the way, or, or I usually have a setup so I know where, what is where, like, you know, the slides always be the third window here, the, uh, the Google Classroom stuff, the first window. Uh, this one is always the fourth, for example, that sort of thing. Okay, um, and here in the, the text file, you can see this is from Fluxbox uh, setup. It's the keys file. And you can see here I have this set up, mod four left, right. That's uh, the tabs. The, they call these tabs because they are, right? They're just like tabs in a browser, but it's for the window. Okay. And so I have that set up for mod four. That's like the Windows key or the super key. Okay. And another thing I love about um, config files is that these, uh, these, do wrong one. these dollar signs here, right? Not dollar signs, excuse me, uh, the sharp, the number sign thing is a comment. So these are commented out because I'm not using them. So I just, you know, I, I want to leave it in there so I can see it next time if I decide to, to use them one day. But right now I don't, so I just comment them out, right? And here you can see I've got this set up so that mod4 return opens up a terminal, right? So I can set up keys to open up something just, you know, automatically without having to, to um, open up a menu or anything like that, okay? So that's it. I just want to show us, oh, one other thing. You can shade, right? I can go like this, click and close, click and open, right? This is also super helpful for getting something out of the way if you just want to move it and make sure it doesn't get seen maybe, right? Um, move it, go like that, move it out the way, you're done. Okay, bring it back. You can do this too, you can minimize too, of course, but then you have to go down here and search for it and if, if you have a lot open, it might be hard to find. Okay, um, but that's it, just wanted to show you that.